how's it going? Welcome to the Be Positive, Stay Positive podcast. My name is Nat and I'm here for you. I am here for you getting back to three times a week, hopefully to cheer you up and help you find those keys to the door that will unlock your happiness. Man, that's all we need. That's all we want, just to be happy. That's why we're here. If this is your first time here, welcome to the show. I'm glad you found it. If you get a chance, let me know how you found it on the text line, 304-506-3332. I want to hear from you. Uh, also, check out the book, The Positive Perspective. That's right. I wrote a book, too. And if you don't have it, you're missing out, man. You're missing out. Uh, you can get it on Amazon or you can get it from the website, bepositivepodcast.com. You can get a personalized copy there as well. I love writing stuff in your book. It makes me feel special. And it's that make me feel special. It's your turn, all right? <laughs> um, I also want to talk about a, a new product that I've been uh, using. And uh, th- this stuff is really, it's really amazing. It's called Magic Mind. And I don't know if you've ever heard of it. I never heard of it. But it's this little elixir, like little shot that I take in the morning. It's full of uh, healthy stuff. Lots of, lots of healthy stuff. Um, it's got matcha in it. It's got uh, bacopa monieri, which uh, that improves your attention span and helps you learn more information faster. The matcha is like contains way less caffeine than coffee and uh, reduces stress. Um, it's got lion's mane mushrooms in there that helps uh, anxiety and inflammation. Um, and it helps your cognitive ability as well. It stimulates your neurons. It gets them going, you know, and I've, it really does. It makes me more productive. It makes me feel like I'm uh, getting more done at work with less stress. It's like easier to organize stuff because sometimes I get and my mind goes a few different ways and this helps me to lasso it up and bring it right back in so I, I can have a little bit more control and get stuff done. Check it out. It's called Magic Mind. Go to magicmind.co slash stay positive and uh, I think for 10 days, hopefully this will air within those 10 days. Uh, you'll get 50% off your subscription if you use stay po- the code stay positive 20 the number 20 stay positive 20 get 50% off uh, and also uh, you, if forever you'll be able to get 20% off your one time purchase and subscriptions and all kinds of just go check it out man it's really cool it's really good stuff um i recommend it highly highly all right well now today um I first have to give a shout out to a very special person. Uh, I have to give a shout out to Eva from Chicago. Eva, what are you doing up there in Chicago? Are you having fun up there in Chicago? <laughs> Raquel said I should say something to you, and I just did, didn't I? So you're, li- you're, you're a new listener to the show. I hope you like it. Um, I, th- I hope you do. I hope you hope, hope you get something out of it. I hope I say something that's worthwhile instead of. Just somebody blabbering on a microphone in a studio, right? <laughs> Maybe something I say will give you those keys. You know, give you that key to the door. You like that? And help you find your positive perspective. Don't forget the book. Oh, uh, anyway, all right. So, uh, and I want to say hi to Kirsty, uh, Kirsty or Kirsty. I don't know how to say it. Listening on Spotify. Um, thanks for um, for letting me know that you're listening to the show. And so now I'm going to read you. It's a little bit, kind of a lengthy email, but I feel. That it's we can all learn from it because people go through stuff in their life, uh, death and addictions, uh, brain uh, brain stuff and uh, just uh, problems, and you have to figure out how to deal with it. And sometimes you can't. So this show is called "I Can't Get Over the Hurt," whether that's the hurt of a losing a loved one or breaking up or whatever. So I'm going to read this letter and uh, bear with me and listen to it. And I'll talk about it when I finish. She starts off, my dad died 10 years ago, my sister six years ago, and just last month, my mom passed away. I cared for her for the last two years, dementia. That's terrible. I'm glad you were there for her, though. She didn't know me anymore, and it hurt. My fiancé never saw my struggles or ever offered a hand. I was so in love, I adored the man, but after the lockdowns, I suffered depression, which grew worse the the worse my mom got. I chose to deal badly, which ultimately led down the path on drinking and cocaine. Yep. Eventually, it was too much, and I told my mom I was going to be put into a home, and I'd have to sell my family home, and there was nothing I could do. Uh, I imploded as my mom never wanted to be in a home, and I felt that I was going to lose the last of my own family. So I moved home. My fiancé decided he wanted to split. 
He told my mother's he told me my mother's illness had bored him. What a jerk. Sorry. Uh I took him I took his freedom and he took my kids younger than his and his whole family and ghosted us. My son believed that he was his dad. He had been raised by him since he was 6 months old. Uh, his own dad left when he was 4 months old. He was a nasty he was a nasty abusive narcissist. That was another hurdle I had to get over. My son's hurt was devastating. Dad and his brothers just gone and the man's and uh, the man's and great grandparents ghosted us and his aunts all ghosted us. He moved on quick to his new girlfriend's house and he lives directly behind me and my son has seen him and he shouted for his daddy. Now, I lives right behind you? That's crazy. I don't draw my blinds anymore. I had a breakdown in November last year and started harming myself as the pain was so overwhelming in my heart I'd rather deal with physical pain. I started to hit my head against the walls. Terrible, I know. My 10-year-old daughter saw it and called me out. I'm ashamed she saw that. Uh, my mom passed on the 30th of June. None of his family even reached out. A stranger I'd never met reached out and paid for counseling. Well, that's nice. See, there's good. There's still good people out there. I was overwhelmed with her kindness. Uh, let's see. I'm blessed at having friends. Nat, I'm doing good. I have a new job teaching. It's so rewarding and gives me purpose. I teach children that have had difficulties in life and don't fit into the mainstream school. I am very positive, and I appreciate my life. However, my heart is still broken. The pain of losing my ex and his family, the way he treated me, and the words out of his mouth, I can't get over that. So how do I let that pain go? Well, there's, there's, you, you just have to do it. You have to move on with your life. Uh, and she goes on to say he even took her dog and then three weeks later gave the dog back because it was too much to handle. Well, look at that as a, as from a different perspective. Okay. I don't know. It sounds like it was your first love and you think your world is over because you don't have him. Uh, the first thing I would say, um, this is, this is from, uh, Kirsty. First thing I would say to you, Kirsty, is to, to realize that you're, Making your happiness depend on someone else. And maybe it's been that way. Uh, you've had some, a lot of things go bad, south in your life. You've had a lot of things to deal with. And it's overwhelming. And the fact that you got some help, that's fantastic. And you're on the right path. But you still have that hurt. So you have to address that hurt. Why do you feel that hurt so deep about someone who is willing to walk away, even give up on your dog, doesn't have, isn't man enough to be in a relationship, didn't uh, help with your mom. So I can understand why you, you're feeling out of control. But on the other hand, you have to understand that you're letting yourself feel out of control and focusing on the past. I know it sounds like a cliche and I say it all the time, but you are living in the past of the relationship you thought you had. You were so in love and you adored the guy and gave him everything and got that got the shaft. And sometimes you just have to, uh, it sounds pretty, I don't know, it's not cold, but it's, you have to lick your wounds and get up and say, it didn't, it's not going to be there. I've lost somebody who I thought I loved and I thought my world was going to be over. And now I'm the happiest I've ever been in my life. But it was painful. You're going to go through it. But don't harm yourself. That's good. That's to experience physical pain to try to take away the emotional pain. I have to ask you honestly, does it work? Because I've known people who were cutters and who they hurt themselves and smashed their heads on the wall and beat themselves up. And then afterwards, they felt worse. But they, it took their mind off of the emotional stress. And I get that. But by doing that, you're just putting it aside. You're not actually dealing with it and getting through it. So after losing your dad and losing your sister and losing your mom, I can relate. I lost my dad when I was 10. I lost my mom when I was 50. And I still have my sister, but... We're all getting old. 
And people go. People die. People pass. And if you could talk to them, I'm sure they wouldn't want you to be dwelling on the past and being miserable and having your life be miserable. Because that's not what life is all about. It's not about uh, catering to somebody else or sacrificing your own being for someone else's feelings. That Someone else is going to control your feelings. You can't live that way. But it's it can be very challenging. But you have to accept your feelings. You have to accept it. It's natural to be upset after a breakup. You get angry, confused, and sad. But allow yourself to feel those feelings without judging yourself, without overreacting and, and getting violent against yourself. And just realize that it's something that happened and you it's an experience and you have to move on but judging from this email he lives right behind you with his girlfriend that's just pouring salt in the wound for you to me i would say you have to cut contact and get and get some space get away um be, one way or the other if he's gonna do that and live right behind you that's just unheard of man but if that's the way it is, and of course you're gonna you're gonna see him every day. Your son's gonna see him. That pain's gonna get too strong, and you're gonna it's not gonna it's gonna be terrible. And you have to keep your blinds down. Is that any way to live as a shut in and not being who you want to be? No. Is that any way to raise your kids? No, it's not. You have to cut the contact. It's it, it didn't work. You're heartbroken. The sooner that you let the wound open up the wound and let it heal the better off you're going to be. You'll get through it. You will. But And I'm so happy that someone reached out to help you and you're on the right path. So now it, what is it? It's time for you to focus on yourself. Forget about the past. You can't change it. You can't. You can't create the future. You can't, sorry, you can't predict the future. You can only create it with your thoughts. You can't change the past. You can only relive it with your thoughts and don't do that you're not doing anything but bringing yourself down so start to focus on yourself yourself and it sounds like you are and you're, you're doing something that makes you feel good so shift your focus away from that breakup and you have to really focus on yourself and what you want to be and take care of yourself physically get enough sleep eat healthy exercise all that good stuff and what I like to do, I, I just started tell, telling people this, is that I, I like to sit and get some quiet time, just me, and listen to my thoughts. And when negative thoughts come in, I put them aside. I'm like, no, I'm not going to do that. I want to hear what my thoughts are positive. What What's my goals? What do I want? What's holding me back? And I address it, and I figure out a solution, and I sleep on it, let my subconscious do the work. So I basically set the goal before I go to sleep. And when I wake up, and it's, th things start to work better. <laughs> right? Uh, another thing is, is don't, don't, don't go on social media and look at his, his page and see the pictures of him and his, uh, his girlfriend and all this stuff. Anything that's going to trigger your, uh, your, your upset, your, your, your pain, stay away from it. See? Stay away from him. Just like when you tell a kid, don't touch the stove. It's hot. If he touches, if he touches the stove, he burns himself and he never touches the stove again. Don't keep going back and burning yourself. Stop romanticizing the past and the relationship that obviously wasn't a two-way street. And remind yourself of why it ended and, and see him for who he really is and how he really treats you and treated your dog. He brought your dog back. He didn't bring it back because he felt guilty. He didn't want the responsibility. So give yourself a little time. It's going to take time. You say it's been uh, about a year and things have already changed. And look at the positive stuff. Focus on the good that is going on in your life. And fill your life with good so there's no room for these old memories. Because you're just going to get depressed and get mad and angry and stuff and hurt. And, it's, and you can't move forward when you live in the past. Because once you start moving forward, you rediscover who you are, your identity. 
you've lost sight of who you really are because you're trying to be you're still in that relationship so take this opportunity to really figure out who you are and it's okay to grieve healing takes some time but be nice to yourself all right you can do it i have faith in you and you've already taken some positive steps kirsty to to better your life and and your kids are going to love you for it you're going to love you for it and life's just going to get so much better so keep moving forward keep staying positive with those kids too i appreciate that i love that all right don't forget about the book don't forget about the text line 304-506-3332 if you can't get over the hurt face it and get through it you can do it my name is nat this has been the be positive stay positive podcast i think we can all do a little bit better i'll talk to you later